hopefully this video helps some people and uh, in case you have a have a curved wall and you want to know how to tape it or you're already a taper but you don't have much experience with doing these curved walls then maybe this video will help you maybe it won't but at least it's out there I'm making a contribution because I couldn't find anything on these curved walls I wanted to see if there's any other technique I can adopt any other advice tapers were giving out there drywall finishers in terms of doing these curved walls and I couldn't find anything it went all the way back to a few pages and nothing so I don't know I made my contribution and then I can look back at this in case I forget how to do it And if my video is the only one out there, then that'll be interesting. And it's almost like a thing like me is once in a lifetime. All right, so we added our material. We're going to smooth it out with some bakto. See, I need to add a little bit of material where that joint is. And when you sand this down, you can just use the sandpaper and your sanding sponge to blend any high areas, low areas for the next coat. And it's better to have extra material that you can sand down than not enough material and you have to touch it up afterwards and reapply it. And you just want to lightly, lightly run your putty knife across. Over here, I gotta add more material now. If you start seeing the tape. Add your material across, just drag it over lightly, and that should be okay. Now we're gonna move on to this area, right here. Again, I just went up like that because 
I'm just applying the material, but I'm not actually going to feather it in that vertical technique way. You use the skimming blade by applying even pressure and feather out the wall. I just want to layer on. See, I know. It looks very thick and heavy, but again, with the even pressure of my Zampak toe, it will smooth out any high areas or low areas in terms of material. Nice even pressure. Like that. Get as close to the bottom as you can, but you can always fix it with your putty knife. See over here, there's some material missing. Here, just a little bit. It's fine. <coughs> oh man, I think I'm allergic to mud. Bless you, excuse me. So now that's this wall done, and I'll get a close up of it after. Yeah, right here, you just lightly, lightly drag your knife across just to get that edge down. And uh, anywhere else, you don't really need it. And then along here, you just, if you see any areas where the mud is kind of high. That's it. Smooth it out. Just kind of plastic is here. So there's going to be one of those situations where when I have to do any touch ups, I may need to remove this plastic or apply painter's tape very close to the drywall here so I can get close enough to this. Okay, so now, now that's done. This will dry. I'll put a fan on it to speed up the process. And I'll give you guys a closer look. 